Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you about Euler's method. So first, we're going to find the equation of a tangent line at the point 2, 4. So we all know how to do this already. All you need in order to find any line is a point, check, and a slope. We're almost there. The slope will be 2x because it says tangent line. Okay, and we're going to substitute the x to be 2, and then we're going to get this to be 4. So now we have a point and a slope. You're going to write down y minus your y point equals m times x minus your x point. So we should all know this. So I'm going to use this equation to approximate 2.1. So all you have to do is plug in 2.1 and just say $2.10 minus $2 is 10 cents. 4 times 10 cents is 40 cents. You're going to add 4 to the other side and the approximation is 4.40. That's a really good approximation. We know what the function is, so there's no reason to actually approximate it. We know what the function is. You can just plug 2.1 into the function and you get 4.41. So you see the error is so small, 4.41, 4.40. So this is a really good approximation. So what Euler's method says is, if I do more than one tangent line with smaller steps, I'm going to get a more approximate answer. So for example, so I just wanted to say here, just in case you guys forgot, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, or y minus y1 equals dy dx times x minus x1. We'll find you the tangent line. So if you have a point on a graph, and you want a point really close to that, you can draw an equate you can have find the equation of a tangent line and just use that line to figure out like we just did in that previous example but what we can do is if we get instead of let's say we were looking for 7.4 we wanted to approximate 7.4 if we start by approximating let's say 7.2 and getting an answer and then using that point to come up with a new slope then you will get even a better approximation. The reason why is because the, the tangent line only touches once, and so as you start moving away from that point, it doesn't become as approximate as it would if you find another point. So this is actually very, very simple, so let me show you what to do. So here I have given the differential equation dy dx equals one over x plus two, and there's a condition, zero, one, Find the approximation of y of 1 using Euler's method. It's spelled this way, but it's pronounced Euler, with two steps of equal size. So now they have delta x to be 0.5. Delta means change, so the change in x to be 0.5. So they want you to do two steps to get to 1. So you put a 1 there, and we know that it's 0 0.5 is right in between them. That's your first step. That's your second step. They told you what it's going to be. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. So 0 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. Great. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by finding the equation of the line tangent to the curve, just like we did in that previous example. I have a point, 0, 1, and I have a slope. They give you the derivative. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with dy dx equals 1 over x plus 2 dy dx at the point 0, 1, so you'll sometimes see this notation, is equal to 1 over 0 plus 2, which is 1 half. So that's my slope. I'm going to write the equation of the tangent line, y minus your y point equals m times x minus your x point. What you're going to do is find an approximation for 0 0.5. You're not allowed to find the approximation for 1 just yet. So you're going to get close to 1, but you're not going to use 1. So you just got to plug in 0 
So, 1 half times 0 0.5 minus 0. So, 1 half, 0.5 is 1 half also. So, we have 1 fourth. And when you add 1 to 1 fourth, you get 5 fourths. So, this is going to be 5 fourths. So 0 0.5 gives you the 0 0.5 fourths as an approximation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the process using a new point, 0 0.5 fourth. I'm going to have to erase this so you can pause the video if you need help. So what you have to do now is come up with y minus your y equals M, oh, I need to get myself a dy dx. So dy dx is equal to 1 and then 5 fourths plus 2. So we all know that 5 fourths plus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 5 fourths plus 8 fourths, which is 1 over 13 fourths, which is 4 thirteenths. So this is going to be 4 over 13, okay? So now we're going to do y minus... 5 fourths equals 4 over 13 times x minus 0 0.5. Then what we do here is now we just plug in to approximate for 1. So y minus 5 fourths equals 4 over 13 times 1 minus 0 0.5. So let me erase this. So this here is going to be y minus 5 fourths equals 4 over 13 times 1 half. Now, what you'll notice is every single time, the distance or the difference will always be 0.5, okay? So we're almost done. 5 fourths equals 4 over 26. Then you add 5 fourths to the other side. And then you just have to combine fractions, and that's your approximation, okay? So this is going to be 16 plus 26 times 5 is some number, and 26 times 4 is some number. You actually have to figure those out. These numbers, I'm sorry, are not the greatest, but that's how you do the problem. Okay, so let's try another one. dy dx, these are more AP aligned, equals x plus y. y of 1 equals 3. Find the approximation of y of 2 in two equal steps. So here's my first step, and here's my second step. So what does this number have to be? 1.5. All you're going to do is find the equation of the line, okay? So we need a point. We got 1 and 3, and now we need the slope at 1, 3. So you just get 4 for that because 1 plus 3. And then... You're going to get y minus your y equals m times x minus your x. And then you're going to put 1.5 in there. 4 times 1.5 minus 1. So 4 times a half, which is 2. So y equals 5. So they might give you an answer as 5 if it's a multiple choice. But you got to do it again. So you're going to do dy dx is equal to x plus y, because now I have a point. You got to do it again using this point. So now you got 5 plus 1.5. That's my new point. That's 6.5. y minus your y equals m times x minus your x. Now you're going to substitute 2. y minus 5 is equal to 6.5 times 0.5. So now you got to do 6.5 times 0.5. The 6.5 is, let me erase this. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. That's pretty much it. So now we have y minus 5 is equal to 6.5 times 0.5. This is 13 halves. This is 1 half. So this is really simple. The hardest part literally is the fractions. 13 times 1 is 13. 2 times 2 is 4. You're going to add 5 to the other side. 5 can be written as 20 fourths. So then you get 33 fourths as your final answer. So all you have to write is f of 2 is equal to 33 fourths. And then you're finished. Okay? 
So the AP usually gives you two points for it, and it can sometimes be a free response. If it's a free response, it's with the differential equation. If it's a multiple choice, it's obviously separate. We're going to do one more. But before we do that one, you might say, well, in the beginning, I just plugged it in and I got the exact answer. Why would I want an approximation? Well, that's a great question. In the beginning, I had a function. All of these are always given to you in terms of dy, dx, okay? And this one, I know I can integrate, but guess what, everyone? You could never integrate x plus y. You can't separate the variables to integrate it. So this is why you need to come up with a different way to approximate the values. If I was able to integrate this, I wouldn't be asking you to find an approximation. I would be asking you to find the exact answer, okay? So let's try one more. This one here, you can't integrate. So it says the curve passing through two zeros satisfies the differential equation. Find the approximation for y of three using two equal steps. One step, two steps. Same exact story. You can put the pause, you could click the pause button and try it yourself, or you can just watch me do it again. I need a point and a slope. My point is two zero, and that's going to be my dy dx. So that's eight. Then I'm going to use that point to come up with the equation of the line, y minus the y is equal to m times x minus the x. So y is equal to 8 times, I'm going to put 2.5 in there, 2.5 minus 2, y equals 8 times 0.5, which is a half, so y equals 4. So your first step, at least get that, they give you one point for that, that's 4. Now you're going to have to repeat the process. 4 times 2.5 plus 4 is your derivative. So 4 times 2.5 is 10, plus 4 is 14. y minus your y point, remember now we're using a new y point, equals m times x minus your x point. So now you're going to put the 3 in there, and you're going to get 14 times a half. So half of 14 is 7, add 4, and your answer is 11. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 11, but they're asking you f of y, or, or y of 3. And that's pretty much how you do it. You basically have to just do the equation of the tangent line, get an approximation, and then use that approximation as your new point and do it again. Okay? Let me know if you have any 